piano. Hey, you know what time it is? Time is it, man. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of The Beatdown, the segment in each channel where two worlds collide. I am your host, Class. This is my co-host. Mr. J, what's going on, guys? We have another one for you. And if you like these videos or this content, go in the section below. Make sure you subscribe, like, share. Yeah, yeah. And without further ado, uh, today we're bringing on a pretty interesting episode because um, a few months back or a few weeks back, I can't remember now, uh, James Gunn made an announcement um, talking about, you know, all these new shows that are going to be coming up and movies that he's going to be a part of and he's doing. And uh, one of them he mentioned was The Authorities. So I figured, hey, why not do an episode with one of the characters from The Authorities so that way you guys keep, you know, that that mind fresh for what's coming ahead. So I'm going to start things off by representing DC Comics, The Authorities on Midnighter. Okay, so let's get into the brief origin story, but it's kind of a little bit more difficult to just say it's brief, but I'm going to try my very best to make it brief. So, surprisingly, um, this is this guy is a combination of Batman and Wolverine. Uh, the reason that is is because he didn't start off in DC Comics. He actually started off, um, what he called it, in another comic company called Wildstorm. Um, for, and, you know, they had a lot of potential over there, but unfortunately they got their, their dream got cut short. So, anyways, from that point, uh, DC took the rights, and they claimed authorities, and they got Midnighter. Okay, so, let's talk about Midnighter. So, an x dorn Weather Watcher, um, hope I said that right, uh, and, uh, created these, uh, injected his test subjects with some kind of formula and made them super powerful. And then, uh, you know, he even brainwashed them into when they wear their mask, they don't have another life, they never had a previous life, nothing like that. They are just what they wear in the mask but yeah so at some point this weatherman double crosses his people and they decide to go solo so midnighter and his lover apollo uh decide to go uh fend crime in underground streets for a little while until eventually they get called back into the big leagues all right and the last thing i'll add is that midnighter has pretty much only kind of one rule and that is avoid harming the innocent other than that, if he's, uh, if you're the bad guy, yeah, you're about to get screwed hard because he will not stop at any time, any way possible. He will not stop until he gets you. I mean, he will do everything and I mean everything to put you down. So yeah, that is the brief origin story of Midnighter. Now we're going to get into the powers, abilities, and feats. Okay. All encompass advantage in close-up combat and tactical scenarios, superhuman strength, reflexes, sense, reflexes, senses, aim, and various other enchantments. Turns attain receptors on and off. Healing factors. Using his pole alone was able to stab the heart of a giant monster by extending it. He can map out how things can end before it blow before a blow was even thrown thanks to his supercomputer mind. Counter a speedster, able to analyze things in the room mere seconds, took down the Suicide Squad and that include Harley Quinn, Deadshot, and Parasite. Uh, he, with an enchanted gun, he wasn't even being able to be put down thanks to his, uh, his incredible super brain. He kicked through a guy, ripped the head off a spine off a body, threw a fridge to a guy into a building, uh, kicked the tank ammo back into a tank, or back at a tank, that's crazy. It was a giant sized tank ammo and he kicked it back into a tank, crazy. And he knocked out Martian Manhunter with one punch. If you know Martian Manhunter, you can't just knock him out with one punch. The guy took on the Justice League solo one time. So yeah, he's a pretty tough guy to go against. All right, All right so now we're gonna talk about the end game. So here's the thing about Midnighter. Uh, Midnighter also has an incredible healing factor. Um, so this fight could go forever, you know? 
Uh, but here's the reality of the situation is yes, they could probably cut each other into pieces for a while, but the reality of that situation is that Midnighter is going to get more blows on Wolverine than Wolverine's going to get blows on, on Midnighter. And the reason why I say this is because Midnighter's supercomputer brain. The fact that he is able to uh, predict the outcome of a fight before a, a shot or a hit is even thrown is already automatically like a downfall. So if he sees Wolverine, he's already going to know everything about Wolverine and every tactical move he needs to in order to counter his move or even to get the finishing blow. So he's got the healing factor for a while, but it's going to wear itself out, especially if you keep getting torn up into pieces. Eventually, that's going to give it's going to tire you out. Another thing to consider is that Midnighter is also kind of uh, capable of figuring things out like regular intelligence wise. Like he's going to be like, OK, you're entirely made out of a strong metal. I wonder what it'd be like putting you in the ocean down the deep, deep end. Could you survive that? And then actually test that theory because Midnighter can. He's got the incredible strength to kind of throw a blow enough to hit freaking Wolverine into the ocean if he wanted to. He's got the skills to even have Wolverine's claw go against him if he wanted to. He could probably use the claw to saw his own head in half. Uh, Wolverine is strong, but unless he gets to a Berserker mode, he's not going to really be able to get the job done with Midnighter because Midnighter will be able to use the strength because Midnighter has a lot more strength than Wolverine does during a battle, you know? Uh, there have been scenes in comics where, you know, Captain America was able to overpower Wolverine. But so I do believe Midnighter is a lot more stronger than Captain America in certain situations. So I do believe he could overpower Wolverine with his own adamantium claw. Maybe use it against him or put him, pin him against a wall with it. Either way, Midnighter is still just a tad bit more stronger and tad more skilled. Another thing to add into uh, Midnighter's ability is the fact that he is able to block his pain receptors, which means that he is able to go all night in a fight with someone if he needs to, would not have to worry about pain being any kind of issue because he's able to block that out, which is an incredible, impressive feat in itself. And again, just the, the fact that he just has a supercomputer brain to see the outcome of anything, it's just, there's no way you can get around that. I, I hate to say, Wolverine is very tactical, very strategic. He could do some really good moves. He's also got a, a, you can't sometimes predict them, but with a character that has been able to predict things happening before it even could happen, even probably more uh, smarter than or more advanced than Batman because it is a supercomputer in his head, okay? Batman is an ordinary guy. He had to learn all this in his own skill set, but this guy got a supercomputer in his brain. So at the end of the day, you, smart is going to overtake this fight at some point. And at the end of the day, Midnight, even with this pole or with his super strength or his skills alone, he's got this in the bag. Okay, uh, my contestant today is none other than Wolverine. Now, going over Wolverine's origin a little bit, a lot of it is actually, you know, shrouded in a little bit of mystery, but in, it was like the 1800s, somewhere in Montreal, I believe? Yeah, Montreal, Canada, yeah. Yeah, Wolverine, or James Howlett, as he was known at the time, was actually sick in bed and he heard a bunch of commotion going down or going on downstairs he came down his father who he he thought had been his father was shot and while he sat there and watched him die the groundskeeper who shot him revealed to him that he actually was his dad now other than go over all of his powers abilities and feats all over again we are just going to let you watch this information here powers and abilities already you know has enhanced superhuman strength speed durability he has that acute healing factor as well as animal-like senses you know he can hear you coming he can smell and we also have that Berserker Rage, which is going to come into play later on. He has his very famous adamantium laced skeleton, as well as his claws. Uh, as far as the end game goes, it is going to be tough to get around that supercomputer, no doubt. Um, Logan is going to have to take a beating. However, he's been able to, you know, take a hit by the Hulkbuster and Hulk. So I want to say he can take a pretty good hit. However, it's not going to be for too long. 
Um, Logan is pretty much just going to have to be unpredictable. And he's going to try to have to overload the Midnighters healing factor. At the end of the day, it's going to come down to which one's better. Um, a lot of people are probably going to say it's Midnighters. I'm going to have to go with Logan just based off of the tools that he has. And because I have to make the sake for this argument. But Midnighter is fast and he is strong. And yes, he is not. He is going to be able to dodge a lot of the things that he sees coming at him but eventually one two three logan's gonna land especially if he gets close enough those claws are about i believe 12 inches long that's about a foot so eventually one whether he gets stabbed or whether he gets slashed or hacked he's gonna get hit and if wolverine has the claws especially heated up one of his newer abilities um i believe that wound is going to be a little it's going to take a little bit longer to heal so if he starts hitting midnighter with that and midnighter can't heal as fast as he would like to or is originally able to and wolverine starts to berserk out not only is he not going to be able to predict what wolverine throws at him but he will completely overload midnighter's healing ability and he will shred him to pieces and he's just gonna to have to cut the head off and toss it somewhere and hope that puts him down um, he's been known, he's stabbed Thanos and the Gladiator. He's impaled Deadpool and ripped him in half. So I want to say, I'm not saying Midnighter and all these characters are all on the same level, but I'm just saying. If he gets close enough, Wolverine, almost anybody, he tears them apart. So especially in that Berserker form, he's going to be real tough to deal with. Uh, and if he can do that and get close enough and like I said, overload Midnighter's healing abilities, then he has a chance. And with the Berserker mode, if he gets close enough and if Midnighter's damaged enough, I don't think he'll be able to withstand what Wolverine throws at him. All right. And as always, no press fam. It's not always up to me and it's not up to him. It's up to you guys. <laughs> Sorry that a little bit. As, so, <laughs> if you guys agreed with my argument, you know what you guys can do? You can hashtag Midnighter. And if you agree with my ar boy's argument, what should you do, brother? Hashtag Wolverine. And as always, no press fam, we really appreciate you guys. Catch you guys later. Peace.